Because in the title, I put Sammy Love Quinn, and they're like dishing it out right now. But so Sammy is doing really good. He's adjusting. Thomas is probably going to bite me. So I'm about to have actually a bird bite. So I'm going to put Thomas in there. Oh my gosh. So I think you should better not eye on those two. And then I'm going to get Victoria, who's right here. Okay, so there is Sammy, and there's Quinn, and they're actually doing really well together. They're kind of going crazy today because they've been inside most of the day because it is so hot outside, but Sammy's just really adjusting, and he's the blue crown conure, and right now they want me away from the camera. Hi, guys. Hey, Victoria. What's going on? Is it really noisy in here? Yeah. She's such a good bird. I love her so much. She is the sweetest little bird. But there they are. It's noisy in here because the air conditioning is on. And the birds are loud. But you just see they're just chill. I think this is kind of how it would be if they were in the wild. They would just all kind of be chatting and hanging out and preening each other and just making a lot of noise. So I love that. And as you can see, I just love watching them interact. It's so beautiful. It is so beautiful. And they just basically haven't known each other long and they just really just work together. What's wrong? What's wrong? Are you okay? What? Are you gonna poop? Oh, that was a good poop. What's that piece of wood? What's that piece? Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's kind of noisy in here, huh? Did I get lipstick on you? Hi, guys. Here we go. Oh, hi. But we just want to say thank you for watching our videos. Thank you for liking our videos. And thank you for sharing our videos, you guys. Parrot Playhouse is growing with subscribers. And we're just so thankful to have you. We love educating. We love sharing our stories. And I'm hoping tomorrow I'll have Victoria's trip to the hospital. I vlogged the entire thing. Uploaded in the morning. It's something that I was kind of like, should I vlog it or should I not? And I decided to because that's something that happens when you have birds. Like, that's real life. Like I was saying on Facebook when I went live yesterday, one minute you think that your whole day is planned and it's set, and then the next minute you're canceling everything because you're rushing a parrot to the hospital. I was looking at the wrong hole. There you are. So... That's going to be up tomorrow. It's just going to basically cover, you know, what went on. Right, Victoria? Yes, but she's doing so much better. Yeah? Yes. But we just wanted to give you guys a little live update of what is going on this very moment, and that's what's going on. It's poor Casey. There she is. Hi, Casey. How are you? Are you okay? Is it a little crazy in here? Is it a little crazy? And Maui? Okay. What are you doing? You've got so much energy. No. Come here, Puffy. Come here, Puffy. There's the Puff Man. He just had a shower. So, there goes Maui. He just had a shower. And then Baby, he just had a shower. And look how relaxed he is. Oh my goodness. Look at that handsome boy. Look at that handsome boy. He's like, I don't want any part of this chaos. No. He's like, I don't know how he can sleep through this, but he's managing it. Yeah? Okay, let's just say hello to Thomas. I put him in the cage, so he probably had a feeling for flesh. I do it for his safety because there is so much going on right now. Here he is. Be careful. 
It's true. I know where all the other birds are. You guys, this room is intense. You really need eyes in the back of your head. Yes, there he is. Here's my boy. Hi, ah, 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 ah. There's my boy. Oh, my bueno. Well, we did. Let's no bueno. And then I see Victoria making a run for it. Oh, my goodness. She's like getting onto another page. Sky, this place is crazy. Okay, come here. Yeah, honey. There we go. Yeah. So, oh, and now I see. No, you guys. Oh, my goodness. No. You leave Thomas alone. He doesn't like you. No, because you tease him. I know exactly what you were doing. You were teasing him. You go over here with baby. You go in there with baby. Okay. Well, it's most exciting in the bird room. And I think what we're going to do is once it cools down a little bit, I'm going to take everybody outside because they need to go outside and play. Like, they're going crazy in here. They don't like to be indoors all day. Huh. Oh, drama, right? <laughs> I know. Drama in the bird room? No way, right? Yeah, this is just actual, this is just normal politics. Parrots have politics. And it's so weird. They all have, like, different things. Like, I can tell when one's about to, like, really do something naughty. They think that I can't tell, but I know because I know my birds. Are you gonna do what? Your parakeet. There she is. Hi, Casey. She's trying to fly. She's like, look, nobody's paying attention to me. So there she is in the midst of all this craziness, but I keep her in there to keep her safe. But anyways, guys, we're gonna get going. Thanks again for watching all of our videos. Sammy and Quinn are precious and puppies being a little, yeah, instigator. Oh, what a surprise, right, for a kayak? It's crazy. Wait, what did it say about my birds are screaming trying to talk to the flock on your screen? Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Uh, you guys are making other birds scream. Yeah, you're making other birds scream. Look what this is. Yeah, you guys are creating like drama through the internet. Hey, Maui. wanting to style my hair today. Normally he wants to be in my hair. But I think, oh, I know what he wants. He wants to attack Sammy. Oh, you love their energy. I know. I love their energy too. And it's when you have perfectly well-behaved birds with no energy is when you got to really be scared because that means they're probably sick. So if these birds were quiet, I'd be so worried. 10.30 in the UK and my kayak was just dropping off to sleep wide awake now. <laughs> that is hilarious. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So your kayak probably will not go to sleep for a while. Yeah, they are cute. Thank you. I am so blessed. I love my birds so much. Yes. So, when, so poor Thomas, he is in love with um, Sammy, as I said on a live video yesterday on Facebook, and Quinn is in love with Sammy, so Quinn wants Sammy, but Quinn, he's kind of pushy, hey, he's my food thief, so he goes from cage to cage and he steals food, he was actually, I'm pretty sure, a wild parrot, that, because we have flocks, we have flocks out here, and he was found by a lake, and I'm pretty sure he was once a wild parrot, and I really think Thomas was a wild parrot as well. Because they do the same calls. And another thing that Quinn does that makes me really think he was a wild parrot is he does this pacing thing. Wild parrots will pace back and forth. 
them when they're in a carrier. And they act so much different than our captive parrots. So it's really interesting, as you can see his body language, the way he interacts with Sammy, as you can see, he's the lilac. It's a bit different. Oh, we just pecked him. Sammy doesn't say anything. Like, he lets Quinn have it. It's kind of funny. What? What? So, it's pretty cool. The wild guys are pretty awesome. And I could not, he could not be released because I think he had been caught by somebody and t somewhat tamed because he sure knew how to eat, like, regular bird food. But that was a scary thing. I couldn't, re we couldn't release him because he associates people to food and he would definitely would not have succeeded out there. So he's doing just fine in here. He loves it. Yeah? Look at that. I love that. You, oh, you have a parakeet named Quinn. Oh, I love that. I love the name. What does that say? Hey, I met a nice lady who needs to adopt out from a cause since child can't handle. Now I'm seeing her to help rebuild the bond. Oh, that's awesome. Good for you. That's huge. We need to definitely, I love working on keeping birds in their homes versus having them, you know, having to leave their homes. Sometimes you need to just work with somebody, somebody coming from the outside, coming in, and just seeing certain behaviors and helping guide that person, you can keep a bird in the home. So I love, love, love when that happens versus taking a bird out of a home and having to re-adopt it. It's just sometimes people just need a little guidance. They need, like, animals and people sometimes need therapists who just kind of listen to both sides, right? Yeah? Good for you. I love that. What else am I missing? To get for a bit. Okay, actually, okay. But yes. <laughs> so, but that's what's going on, you guys. What's going on? Oh. And I think it's like almost, I think, 3.30. So I think I'm going to be able to take everybody outside soon. And I'm going to turn on the misters. And we're going to upload a video so you can see them outside. I just made a video. And I'm actually wanting to add safety clips. Are the flock? I actually want to add some more aviaries right now so everybody can be out at the same time. Okay, are the flock wings clipped for safety purposes? Yes. I know that is like a really hot topic to clip or not to clip. And I never tell anybody really, I, I never suggest what to do because every situation is different. And as you can see in here, I've got birds that could really injure other birds or get injured if they flew in to each other. And we're in a, a tight room. You know, the, most of these are rescues, and we're limited on space, as you can see. And so I have to be really careful. So yes, most of the birds in this room are clipped. I hate that. It makes me sad, but it would make me even sadder if somebody had a really severe injury or flew out that door over there because things do happen. But there are places where, you know, there's maybe just one person in the household and, you know, you've got a more controlled environment, not so many birds running around and so many kites running around. And, and at the end of the day, when these guys could fly, this is where they were going. They were trying to get Casey, my African Grey, and she's way in the corner, but clipping really, really slowed them down. It doesn't stop them. That's why I'm constantly having to really keep track where everybody is. And I usually don't let everybody out at once because you can see from this bird room, look at Mal, he's looking outside. Isn't that sweet? It's dangerous. So, yes, I do, I do clip some of my bird's wings. Not all of them. My parakeet is not clipped. And my gray, I don't think my gray's clipped right now, which that's fine because I really don't want her clipped. I want her to be able to, like, move if she needs to. So that's a bird I definitely 
want her wings to be fully flighted because she needs to be able to get away from these birds if she wants to. And so does my parakeet. Yeah! And look how sweet she is. She is just the sweetest little bird. I love her so much. Yeah. I love you. <laughs> She's so patient. So anyways, guys, we're going to end this on a peaceful note with Victoria Cockatoo. Yeah. Cause she's the sweetest little bird, and we love you guys. Have you made bird safe candles? Cause I did with my mom. No, I haven't. I don't even know what those are. I don't use candles at all, but so can you email me the link? I'd love to see that. Yeah. So, all right, we're gonna get going. Thank you for watching. I love you. I love you.